All right. Today I'm in the VR4. And <laughs> yet again, I'm in traffic. In a different spot though. It's not as far as away that I was before, but it's still traffic. And there's nothing really I can do about it. So stay tuned. I'm gonna try to get some drags on the way to the house. Stretch on the road. I got this car in front of me though. So I'm gonna try to bumper and the hood I got a Ryobi sender which should fit the batteries I have for the saw that I used to cut off the Buick's exhaust or Cadillac converter and um, the drill so I'm gonna check to see if the battery works and then I'll get back to you guys when I figure that out Just like that. Now. Yeah. Nice. So, we'll get back to sanding the bumper with this and try to get to the hood. All right, <clears throat> now before I go down to cutting to meet Continuing on with the bumper with the new Ryobi sander. I'm just going to go over what I've done already with the car here. Say it's okay, shifter bushings, okay. Was this the thermostat? We changed that. What is this? The center cage removal. 
cool. Oh my god. Um, the power antenna, that was pretty easy. Uh, fuel filter, that took a couple days. I think I have two of these of how to do it. Fuel filter. Um, oil change, okay, we just did that. And next is the fuel pump. So I need to figure out a new, get a new fuel pump and take mine apart. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to drive the car for a while, but it's whatever. As long as I can see the fuel gauge, because when we did the fuel filter, it didn't, the gauge didn't move up. It didn't move up any anyway. So next thing is going to be the fuel pump after sanding the, the bumper in the hood. Hey. I am going to jack up the car so I can work on this bumper. Now that the car's all the way lifted, as much as I can for right now, I'm gonna take off these bolts again. Or actually, I'm gonna try to sand while this is on here, but I do wanna take these uh, turn signals off and try to take some of this oxidation off like I said before in the other video so I'm going to take these out disconnect those that one and that one and I'm going to take the license plate off and I'm also going to try to find some washers for these so this can stay up just like this so I'll cut back once the license plate off and the turn signals are off Alright, I've got the sander. First thing, I want to wipe it off and clean it off with um, some soap and water and make sure it's all clean. And then I will wet sand this whole thing and I'll get a little couple shots of me uh, sanding it down. switch the battery uh, I have to go a little bit more see the little cracks right here still feel a little bit right there still, really do the, still feel some stuff right there so just starting let's get back to it all right checking in I have gotten that part a little bit under there most of the top part and not quite to that little part over there but it's going along but this bumper is very tricky because it has these little grooves in here so once i get done with the general areas of them and not in the creases i'll have to go back in with some sandpaper some hand sandpaper or some regular sandpaper but use my hand and then go in between these little creases right here so i can um so i can scratch up the uh scuff up the plastic in there the black paint that's in there so the paint that i put on there the new black will adhere uh good as well as the little shutters right there on that side and down here as well so giving an update i'm gonna try to my batteries are i have four batteries that i'm going and it's taking i'm trying to cycle through all of them to get this last part done before the sun goes down all the way and then i'm gonna paint it and then i'm gonna smooth sand it one more time and then uh get ready to primer in i think primer is probably going to be the last thing that i do today and tomorrow and when i get off from work i'll uh, uh start with some primer and then hopefully i can start painting because it's supposed to be a hot day tomorrow so i will check back in with you guys once i'm done with this bottom part this little part right here this side panel of the bumper and everything else that i can get um today i've got the majority of it scuffed up on that side i still have to do those vents over there and in those creases i'm probably going to take the bumper off just so I can get a, I have to get that too, just so I can get a better um, 
angle at some of the parts that I can't get on here. All I have to do is just unbolt a couple of these that I put back on here and then the bumper will come right off. So I'll probably do that next and then I'll try to see what I can get from under there and whatnot. And then uh, whatever I can't get, I'll have to hand, do, hand sand and then we'll get ready for the uh, primer. All right, it's all done. And what I can do with the electric sander. Next, I'm going to hand sand these more intricate pieces, like all around in there and all in there and all in there. Right there too, as well as right there and along this little rivet right here <clears throat> and that will be on the next video so accomplished a lot today i got all of the front bumper sanded down pretty good with this new sander that i got and i'm gonna be doing the hand sanding next gotta prepare for that